Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The goal of this video is to find an equation of an ellipse, but this time we are going to look at it when the vertex, or excuse me, the center is not at the origin, with the center not at the origin. So let's take a look, and it says find a standard form of an equation, and it says the major axis has endpoints. So major axis has endpoints at negative two, negative one, and eight, negative one. What that tells me is that this is a vertex point and this is a vertex point as well. So if I'm making a quick sketch of this, I'm going to be down here at negative one, here at eight, and here at negative two. So there's gonna be a vertex point and there's gonna be a vertex point there. So that's the end of it. So this identifies that the uh, it is going to be a horizontally represented ellipse. How do I know that? Well, because the y value is the same. So if the y value is the same, that means there is a horizontal line that goes from here to here that is our major axis. So that is going to be a horizontally represented ellipse in this example here. So that means when we're writing our equation, we know that the a squared is going to be underneath the x minus h quantity squared. But we'll get there. We'll get there. And then it says whose minor axis has a length of 8. Well, let's think about first and foremost what the distance from negative 2 to 8 is. The distance from negative 2 to 8 is a total of 10. That means halfway in between, we will find the center of this ellipse. And so I'm going to go 5 to the left or five to the right, depending on where I start from one of these vertices, and that's gonna leave me here when x equals three. So here is going to be our center at three, negative one. So the center is at three, negative one. And then I have a total minor axis length of eight. So that means I'm four above the center and four below the center. So one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna be down here and I'm gonna go up one, two, three, and four, and four above. And so that means that this point here will be at three, three, and this point right here is going to be at three, negative five. And so now we've kind of got our ellipse going. Not drawn perfectly, but that's okay. All right, and so this tells me that when I can start writing my equation on out, I'll have x minus three squared plus y plus one quantity squared. So what was the distance, let's think about this, from the center to the vertex? That's what the a is. Remember, underneath the x minus three squared, I'm going to want our a squared. Let me write this up here just maybe so we can kind of remember what we're going to be trying to achieve, right? Ultimately, this is what we are trying to achieve. All right. So let's find out what that distance from a is. So the distance of a is the distance from the center to the end point on the major axis. So that has a distance of five. So I'm going to have five squared down here. The distance from our, uh, our B, when it's a horizontally represented uh, parabola, is going to be from the center to the end point on the minor axis. So that's a distance of four. So I'm gonna have four squared down here, and all of that will be set equal to one. And so then we end up seeing that we have x minus 3 squared plus y plus 1 squared over 16 over 25 equals a positive.